Hey guys, so um, welcome to unit four. Um, this is your last unit for the course, so congrats on making it this far. Um, just a few more weeks and you guys will be um, done with the course. So good job making it uh, this far and kind of keeping up with everything. I'm going to give you guys a brief walkthrough of your unit four. So um, if you look at your explanation, I have mine right here. Um, you have, first and foremost in week 13, you have um, an optional graphic organizer that I want you to make sure that you take note of. So this is basically an opportunity for extra credit is, is how I built it in. You can do exactly what you did in the last unit where you develop your own graphic organizing system for um, all of the material that you're going to cover in this one. Uh, it can be something electronic, so easily attachable, or it can be something you take a picture of and then upload that. So um, if you do it, if you decide to do it and you fill in something, you know, you fill in extensively for the, the different um, texts, then you can get up to five extra points on your final essay. Um, after that, we're going to move into understanding the subject matter of this unit is transcendentalism. So I have a bit of background about transcendentalism for you and a mini quiz to go along with that. And then you're going to move into the first two authors. So um, you're going to start with the seminal transcendentalist, which is Ralph Waldo Emerson. He basically created the movement. Um, and then you're going to move into looking at Henry David Thoreau. Um, and you'll have some blog assignments and things like that with them. Um, you are going to end up connecting the two of them because Thoreau was Emerson's um, protege, basically. So I'm going to have you do a writing assignment at the end which connects the two of them. And that's under the Thoreau folder. Um, so that's it for week 13. Week 14, let me pull it up. Um, week 14 moves into poetry. So you are going to create um, uh, basically an analysis of Dickinson and Whitman's poetry in this one. So I have first a folder for you that's called Understanding Poetry, which offers a few resources, um, a basics document, so a document with basic terminology, um, and then a, a PowerPoint, video PowerPoint um, explanation of how to attack or break down a poem. It's, it's really good and helpful information if you've, never, if you've never done it or if it's been a long time since you've worked on poetry. Um, and then I have a practice assignment for you, so I've given you a Shakespearean sonnet, and I want you to practice breaking that down um, looking for rhyme schemes, stanzas, all those good things. Um, so then you'll come back out and you will do uh, Whitman. So you'll start with Walt Whitman. And he's a fascinating figure. I basically have uh, your reading assignment and a lecture for him. The same thing for Dickinson, um, Emily Dickinson. And then I'm going to have you put the two of them together um, with a discussion board response. So you'll um, choose one of them and then you'll analyze a poem for meaning, structure, all those good things. It should be pretty extensive and and draw from the text. Um, that is week 14. If you'll notice, I'm, I've really um, kind of pared things down because at this point, you know, you're moving into being able to do the work yourselves. Uh, you don't need quite as many, you know, structural supports from me. And also because you're moving towards finals. And I know this time of the year gets insane. Uh, please believe me, I understand. So um, the last, you'll move into week 15 next, and I have one final reading assignment for you. It's Frederick Douglass's, um, uh, his, from My Bondage and My Freedom. Um, so you're going to do your reading on Frederick Douglass, and on that one I've not given you the background like I've given you the, all, all the other authors because I want you to, you're going to go and find um, some resources and do a bit of very short research on Douglass. Um, and his life, because I want you to connect the text, which is truly a very powerful, emotional, incredible text. Um, I want you to be able to connect that to his life um, and kind of discover for yourself how amazing this man was, because he's the last one we're going to read before the end of the unit, which basically takes us up to the Civil War. So um, you are going to do a writing assignment uh, using that information as a, as a response. And then you'll have a unit four wrap-up quiz. So it's a whole unit wrap-up quiz. It's, it's about 10 questions. Um, and then, most importantly, your essay assignment is located in that folder. So you will open and save your essay assignment. You'll watch the video explanation as usual. Um, and then the last thing you'll do that week is a short brainstorming response as a discussion board response. Um, and then week 16 is your final week of the class. That takes us up through May 10th, which is Sunday. 
Um, you will submit your graphic organizer that week if you do it. You will have a short blog uh, bit about your essay choice and the rationale behind it. And then the rest of the week is yours to work. So you will have an optional peer critique link. And then your submission process is the same as always. And then there's a note on the bottom of that section about um, the fact that finals week, uh, you guys don't have any type of final from me. Um, but you do have an extra credit opportunity uh, available to you. So if you choose not to do the extra credit, then the last thing that you have to do for me is your essay number four. Um, May 10th, you turn that in, you're done. Um, if you choose to do the extra credit, however, you can open up that folder and I have a full explanation of, I have a sheet, an assignment sheet and a video explanation of what that extra credit needs to look like. Um, and the only thing you need to know, uh, I'm not, I don't need to hash it out here, but the only thing you need to know is that it must be turned in by May 13th at midnight. Um, this time around on the essay and on the extra credit, there is no leniency for turning things in late. Um, so no, my computer crashed, no anything like that. Um, because grades are due by, I think it's May 14th or May 15th at noon. Um, so I have 90 essays to turn around and if you give me an extra credit assignment by Wednesday night at midnight, that means I have, you know, 12 to 24 hours to turn around and add your, your extra grade in. But, um, the extra credit assignment allows you to get up to two points, um, on your total overall semester grade. So if you are on the cusp, I highly suggest that you take advantage of it. Um, it's not difficult, it's not extensive, but it is a, a, a project. So it is, you know, a project that you're going to need to demonstrate some understanding and some learning. Um, so that's it. That's your unit four. Um, like I said, I've tried to pare it down and keep it pretty streamlined for you guys, but still get a lot of good information and text across. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, um, good luck in this unit and, and um, you guys are doing really good. You're going you're gonna to get there really soon.